Okay guys, so I went to the Bloomington Antique Store on Sunday and um, I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I got. Uh, I guess I'll start off with the hubcaps just so I can get them out of the way here. Got this Buick hubcap here. Uh, I looked up both of these hubcaps. I believe this one is from like 64 to 65 era of um, Buick. The uh, emblem's pretty nice. The red's a little bit faded, but for the most part, it's it's nice. Um, it's got a couple of little dings in it, like right there. But uh, and then there's a bigger one right there, but for the most part, it's in good shape. And um, then I have a very large, very large Oldsmobile hubcap. This one I couldn't find any information on, although I'm going to take a guess that it's from probably 77 to 79, somewhere in that time frame. And there's the emblem on this one is really nice. And you can see how much larger it is versus the Buick. So, um, both very nice hubcaps. This one, I don't see anything wrong with it. It just needs cleaned up. So I'm going to set those out of my way. And we will carry on with the video. And I'm going to go with my signs that I got next. Just because I got an Oldsmobile sign. So since I showed you the hubcap, I'm going to show you the sign. Of course, this is not, not old by any means. But the past three or four years that I've been going to that antique store, it's been there. And they were having a sale, so I went ahead and bought it. Um, now there's a couple ways that you can tell that this has no age to it at all. A, because of the thin um, tin that it's made out of. And then probably the most obvious is the newest um, Oldsmobile emblem. Um, so even though it's not old, I still thought it was cool. So I went ahead and picked that one up. Man, it's kind of an odd haul video today. Nothing's going to fit. I don't think there's a whole lot that's going to fit on my table. And a lot of it is just odds and ends. Like I got a car missing sign which I've never actually seen one of these before, so um, that's why I got it. I'm sure they're very common, but I've just never seen one before. Um, but it's a pretty nice, it was a real sign that went on a post, of course, you know, it's it's that thicker, thicker gauge aluminum that all the signs are made out of, and um, so I went ahead and got this. I guess if your car's missing, you call that phone number. I suppose. Um, then some of this stuff is going to be a surprise for me because I didn't watch the lady wrap it, so I really have no idea what's going to be in here. Alright, there's the truck. Okay, so we do have some die-cast related stuff in here. So, got a Ertl Ford, like an 88 to a 90 Ford. Pretty cool. Like an F-250 or something like that. It's <clears throat> I haven't seen this specific one with the white and green. I've seen the turquoise and silver one, and I've seen the um, 
uh, black and silver one. I can't say I've seen the green and white one before. I wondered if this was maybe from some type of um, John Deere dealer package, you know, and that's why it's white and green like their service trucks. No, don't know. But it's in pretty good shape. There's no chips in the paint or anything. It looks brand new. And it came with the trailer. I think it was $7 for all of it. And um, you can't buy these horse trailers for $7, I don't think. Or if if you can, I don't. you couldn't buy the truck and the trailer for $7. Although the trailer is a lot newer than the truck is. And I got this little Lesney wagon here. This is a pretty old wagon. You can tell that this is one of the original um, releases of this wagon because of the gray tires. And Lesney called this a trailer. That's, that's literally all it says is trailer. Made in England by Lesney. But it does dump. Actually, it dumps pretty far. And um, I will fix the tires there for you so it looks looks halfway decent. It's a nice little trailer. And it came with two yellow barrels. You can buy reprint, reprint, re manufacturers um, barrels. But I think I'll stick with the two originals and keep it at that had no idea what was wrapped up like that and then I got some license plates here so I had a truck that fell down and there was a whole bunch of these license plates and I think that um it was probably a fleet of trucks because they were all different num you know like this says truck 36 they're all from 71 and um um you can see this one some of the clear coat on it is starting to come off but it was one of the nicer ones that was there so that's the one i went ahead and picked up and then i got another one here this one is an Indiana plate for 40, 1949, and the reason I got this was because well, my dream truck would be a 49 Studebaker 2R5 truck, so I've got a 49 license plate for it if I ever, if I ever end up with one. Alright, whoa! This is by far the newest thing that I bought. There's a guy in that... Uh, antique store that sells CDs and so I got this three CD set of uh, Johnny Cash um, there's some of the song selections on the back here and um, this was eight dollars for this whole thing only eight dollars you couldn't buy this new for that I guarantee you it's still in the shrink wrap it's never been used it's got all three CDs so that was nice Got a couple new music, uh, I don't want to say albums, uh, because these are tapes and those are CDs, but whatever. Got some new music here. Got Chris Christopherson, uh, I guess the album that would be called My Songs. I didn't see that. And, um, the tape, of course, in there. This is from 84, if you look down there. Got the Best of Don Williams, Volume 2. This should be pretty good if you look through the songs that's on there. This one's from, I'm going to say 79 is when this one came out. Johnny Horton, 20 Early Memories. Apparently this is two albums in one. Or maybe this had maybe this there was two tapes that came in this set originally. 
This one's from 83. And then I got Kenny Rogers' 20 Greatest Hits from, looks like 1983. All right, so I've got my music out of the way here. Got the Pontiac stock car here, Pontiac Stalker. And this is the Mattel sponsored Pontiac. And of course it has Mattel with a lot of their um, logos or brands. You know, like um, there you see Barbie and Hot Wheels, which are two of their main brands. Um, it says Racing in the Future. I can't remember what those wheels are called, those uh, five-point star wheels. But those are some special wheels. Wheel, yeah, I can't talk wheels that's on there. This is driver's Hank V. It says the toy club on the back trunk. So this, um, the toy club limited collector's edition. I don't know what happened up here, but it's pretty tore up. But you can see the uh, gold print on the Hot Wheels. Both sides of the box say Mattel. This is from 1994. Um, and here we go. Mattel is proud to present the first Hot Wheels collector car ever sold exclusively by Toy Club stores. Okay, so that makes this somewhat special. This limited edition Pontiac Stalker uh, sports two-piece wheels and is one of only 7,000 cars produced. Okay, so this is one of 7,000 and apparently the first, um, what did it say, first toy club, uh, yeah, first toy club car. So that's kind of cool.